everybody. Um, so today's uh, today's how-to video is going to be pretty. Uh, I don't know. It's it's one that I've I've seen a lot of people ask about it, and it is what is the what is the stereo bus on the system? What is it used for? Well, now it can be used in two different ways. I had one one guy actually ask me, send me a personal email. And he asked, how do I, how do I use this for, I, I want to record vocals, I want to put reverb on the vocals, but I don't want to, I don't want to record the reverb. So this, this is actually perfect for, um, for the stereo bus. So the stereo bus is kind of this just ethereal system. It doesn't actually, it doesn't actually record, get recorded anywhere if you're just recording tracks. So as long as you're in multi-track, it's not going to record. So what it is, it's 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 kind of like the bass. It's kind of like the bass in um, in Injustice for All that the album, where it's there but it's not there. So let me let me show you how we're going to do this. So what we're going to do with this. So first off, um, I'm going to go to assign. So as you can see, track one is already assigned to the guitar track. I have my guitar over here. And let, let me just play for a sec. So as you can see, there's nothing on it. All right. So now I've set up on my uh, on my system, E and F are set up to use the stereo bus to get to the stereo bus. So if you're at, let's say we're at the, so I'm just turning it on here. So to get to the stereo bus. You can either hit the stereo select button down here, which is out of my picture. So let's just go. There is the stereo select button. It's right there. And as you, so when I click it, it moves it. That's one way. Now, it, and then you can use the jog. I'm trying to get this. I'm trying to get this to work better for taking videos. Uh, where was I? There. So now, if I use the jog. I can turn it on. So I want D and I want C. So I'm just going to use the cursor over here. I'm not D and C. That's not what I want. So turn off D, turn off C. I want E and I want F. All right. So now I've I put on I've just put on a slap back. So now if I go to my I'm going to select go to mixer select track one. And as you can see, I already have I have uh, I have uh, the, the send is on for effects one. I have it on post, and I'm sending over a hundred. I'm sending over a signal into that. Now, what you can do now, if I go to select and I, I select, I hit the source button on E. You can see that I panned it to the left side, and F I have panned to the right side. So I've turned them into stereo, stereo uh, signals. Now, if you do that, remember. You have to reset them because if you don't, they're going to be set like that. If you if you off this song, if I create another song, I'm going to end up with a stereo recording. Now I know guys guys make templates. They say, okay, this is my template. This is how I'm going to work it. Then they create songs from that, which is the best idea to do. If you're if you're smart, I don't do that. I I just go through and check everything. So now, as you can see. I get, I get a reverb, and we can turn that up. Let me just turn up ENF here. So I get a slap back. All right. So now, question is, does that get recorded? So you can see, you can see eight. You can see on track one. Going up because I'm hitting the, the string, but it's not the slapback's not getting recorded anywhere. But we can put that to the test. I will hit record, play. All right, so I just recorded 11 seconds worth of a of the guitar. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to go on to first. We're gonna we're gonna make sure that we're not so turning off 
turning off the send, so now I'm not sending. As you can see, still got record on. You can hear the guitar, but you can't. There's no, there's no slap back now. So now let's play back that track. So as you can see, it did not record the slap back anywhere. So the the effects did not go through. That that's pretty much how at this level, so at the multi-track level, that's how you can use slap back or that's how you can use the effects loop to include an effect that you don't want recorded. You get your you get your original signal getting recorded, in this case the guitar. And you have you using the using the inputs to bring back the signal with the effect on it, but you're getting you're going to, you're sending it through the through the stereo bus, and that is how that's how it works in this level. Now, granted, if you're doing a mix down, so if I were to suddenly say, okay, I'm going to go mix down, so let's just click on mix down, and I want to record the slap back. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna put my guitar down. Hang on. All right, so I want to record the. I now want to record the uh, the slap back on the on the channel. So I'm gonna go and turn it back to post. See if I got the slap back again. Okay. All right. So now we're just gonna find the end of this. Just put it out there. So there's my song. Nine seconds. Awesome. All right. So let's record the song so we can listen to it as a mix down. Now in this case, it is going to record. It is going to record the uh, the sub the uh, stereo stereo. Um, I keep getting it mixed up. What's it called? Stereo bus. It is going to record that in this case. Here we go. I have now. Is it done? Yep. Okay. We go to mix down. So now we're now we're in the mastering mode. This is now our mix down is now in the mastering mode, and we're gonna go listen to it. So as you can see, it has included it has included the the, uh, the stereo bus channels. So what that means is that if you if you fill the entire entire your entire um system your entire all, all your tracks are full you can actually while you're recording the mix down you can include eight more tracks if you really like eight more channels if you really wanted to now i'm not sure how easy that's going to be on mine because i don't have a midi system i know i know phil tipping did a whole thing on how to connect the midi to it and you can do that so what i'm but what i'm saying is is you do have the option, like this is nice if you're doing final mix down and you're saying, okay, I want to add effects to this, but I've got everything taken up. Now what do I do? Well, that's how you would handle it. You would just, you would add the effects on top of it and you would then, you would then have them coming through the signals, coming in through signals through a stereo bus and they'll get recorded. So that is it for today's, uh, today's um, segment. Once again, if you have any more questions, this is this was actually sparked by one of the questions that somebody sending me a message on Facebook. So if you have any other questions, um, just don't be afraid to ask. I'm willing to I'm willing to try it. I may not be able to answer your question. I may have to defer it to somebody else. And uh, so yeah, like and subscribe, and leave questions in the comments, and I'll see what I can do for you. And talk to you later. Never question them what it is there Got my freedom fighters all over the town Got the bunkers, one shot down Never heard such a thunderous